Hey friends, today we're back and we are going to be setting up our Urban Warm Bag version 2. I'm really excited about doing this unboxing. Um, I've been looking at these for a while and finally decided, you know, it's time. Uh, so we're here on the porch and the puppies are, uh, well, at least for now, they're outside doing puppy things. Though I think you can probably tell uh, it's Florida in the summer, so it might rain soon and it might not. But for now, we're going to work on an unboxing. If I started working on this and I didn't get to include Wally, he would be mad because his job is pretty much security. Alright, Wally. You not worried about this box? Nothing? Okay. More for me. There's a good chance this is going to be fed to the worms anyways. So, oh, I did buy coconut core. I know I hadn't been using it in my other bins, but I figured in something like this, I'm probably going to need some coconut core to help the bedding. So, I think that looks very compact. It has been clearly taped. Here, I'll show you guys. I assume for shipping purposes, it had to get taped down. Hopefully, that's all it is. So we can start getting in here and following the instructions. Pretty excited. Uh, it looks pretty cool as far as boxes go. I watched about probably I don't know, 20 videos or so of these of people setting them up or getting them started and I feel pretty confident it's gonna go smoothly but I am also uh, still a little under the weather so I'm gonna be going a little slower than normal. Well, this is, is this okay? It's safe. Thank you. You know what? Oh, we got loose over there. Okay. Assembly instructions. No glues or hammers. Cool. Pictures. I like them. Owner's manual. Important. Oh, this is cool. Gives a lot of details for people. Uh, cool. Where to use? Alright, well, we're on our porch right now. You guys see how often this is uh, on the house line here. So I'm thinking of keeping it here because it's mostly shaded. We had a little bit of morning sun. Uh, let's see. Be home, garage, office, or classroom. Um, basements are below grade dwellings. We don't have really in Florida. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Flat. No direct sun sunlight, rainfall, or extreme temperatures. I mean, Whenever possible, use it indoors in a climate control setting for best results. Well, we're going to try on the porch here and see how it goes. So, we need to just assemble it first before we work on the bedding. Let's see if they put a guide in here. Probably not, I would think. This is really great. I love how detailed this is. Probably read it and make sure I'm caught up to speed on all of it. But for now, that aside, let's start getting out their pieces. Quick puppy intermission while he's over here, but Moose is ready to come in. Hello, big Moose. Yeah. Now we're all on. You helping, Moose? Yeah, it's really warm out. It's about to out to rain here, so. Hey, Moose. You coming to help us? You want to check out the box? Okay. Okay, so I figured out what we're going to start with. Per the box's instructions, there are all of these with the nubs. That's what I'm calling these nubs here. And so it looks like half of them go with the shorter uh, pipe, and then the rest of them go with this longer pipe. 
um, which there's really no wrong way to do it because there's only a hole in one end. So I already did most of them, but I thought I would show you. So here's our nub side and we got one of the shorter ones here. So uh, you just push it down with your finger and you slide them in. So I'm just doing this ahead of time, so hopefully it'll be easier. And then this is the nub one. And then this is the longer pull. So, like I said, you can't get it wrong because there's only hole on one side, which is pretty great. Okay. So we have those all preset and ready to go. So if we were building, uh, let's say a box or whatever, I get because we're essentially making a cube. Uh, if there's essentially equally sized I'm thinking uh, these longer ones it would make sense for them to be uh, what I'm assuming in the picture are these longer ones the four so like the legs I guess that's what these longer ones are that's what I'm assuming I hope I'm right we'll find out in a minute but looking at the picture it looks like these where they're almost like equal in length are the legs and then these with the shorter and the longer part are um, the I guess the perimeter exterior pieces and uh, so I think we're just gonna start figuring out how this goes together okay well this has been going together pretty easily and I figured I'll show you guys super super easy we're just going this way and then sliding it in pretty well. This is really lightweight. So we can lay everything on the floor. You're supposed to have a flat surface anyways, so that's pretty great. Uh, <laughs> I got puppies supervising me here. So I think the next thing we're going to do is our legs. So we're just going to slide these in. And this stuff is made pretty well from what I can tell so far. Everything's fitting in really well. Hey, Wally. You helping? And then I'm going to go ahead and put these caps on top. All right. I let the puppy in so we could have some more room to work. So we got all the base stands and just so you guys can tell these long legs are the ones with the nubs and the longest um, bars so there's only four of them. And I've gone ahead and done is just kind of push on all of everything and I, I put it on its side and use kind of you know your weight and gravity to just kind of push everything into place. But once you um, get going it's honestly really simple the only things everything's the same on all the sides except for the legs so we have these shorter bars with the nubs and so those are the four bottom parts and then they're gonna be the four top pieces for the bag and then the legs are the longer ones so easy peasy and so I am just going to take the bag here and then what I'm gonna do is just open it up and then I'm going to slide all of the bar, the four bars that are left in, and then we will hang it up. Thankfully, we're working under the cover of the porch because it's about 4.30 in the afternoon, and of course, it's starting to rain now, so hopefully it'll cool off while we work on this bag. Well... I'm gonna go ahead and talk as loud as I can, but it's definitely monsoon right now.
are just going ahead and getting them mostly in place. And we'll go ahead and tighten it up for a minute. I'm sure there was an easier way to do this, but uh, it turns out I didn't do it that way. So the instructions say, ensure that it is cinched, it is, and then it says leave the bottom cover of the worn bag detached for now, so we can let the moisture whatever fall through. So that's fine, we can go ahead and do that. And what I think what I'll do is I'll just put the box that it came in probably underneath it, or something, we'll see. And then, okay, consider adding a layer of paper to block the exit. So. We're just gonna use the paper that it came shipped with. And then it says, once the bedding and material of excess moisture stops leaking, you may attach the bottom and wait 48 hours before adding words. So that's fine. And then I noticed on this page here, it said they recommend two bricks of coconut core. Uh, so that's great, because that's what I ended up buying. Uh, unintentional, maybe? Uh, let's see. So, this talks about all the, like, the different types of bedding and stuff. So, and you can never have too much bedding. Too true, too true. So, I'm going to go ahead and mix my bedding, get that ready, or at least started. We're probably going to layer it in a few times now uh, to get it started. So, my bedding, I'll show you guys how it looks in a minute. So I just went ahead and unzipped the bag for the first time and I figured it was very appropriate to put the paper that it was shipped in in there is the bottom paper. So I'm going to close it up for a little bit so we can let um, prevent things from crawling in. Um, we have coconut core soaking and I'll mix in some cardboard soon but I think for right now that's our sliding glass door to go in the house. So think this is a good spot for it. Uh, I know it gets very heavy so um, trying to make sure we put it in a good spot before we fill it up. So we'll let it sit here for a little bit and then we'll put the bedding in in a little bit. I'm gonna go grab some more paper and uh, cardboard that's already shredded up ready to go and then we'll mix that in with uh, the coconut core to make sure everything's nice and wet and moist. And then I'm thinking of adding in probably a handful or so of the recent castings. We'll see. Um, we'll see how it fills in when we're over here. But yeah, off to a good start. So it's 9.30 the next day and I just wanted to show you guys, it's fairly sunny out, but this is east. And I was just, before I put anything in here, I decided let me put, um, some effort into making sure that direct sunlight isn't a problem and I've been kind of watching it this morning and the morning is really the only time there's a chance of direct sun over here and of course as soon as I started recording some clouds came out but uh feeling good about the location of this I really wish I had like a dolly that I could put it on to move it around um but you know it is what it is for now and I think it'll be okay here so um I think we're gonna proceed with filling it later. I just want to let it sit for a little bit because once it's set up, I think it's going to be hard to move it. But this is my little rigged apparatus for filming yesterday, but I had thought about putting it over here, but I know there's direct sun over here. So I think this is the best spot for the longest period of time out of direct sun. So I think we're going to, we're going to end up keeping it over here. And as much as I want a dolly in case I need to move things around in reality, I can't really put it anywhere else because there's sun over here and it'll be shaded in a little bit, but I wouldn't want to leave it there very long. So I think I'm just going to err on the side of leaving it here. Hey friends, so we're back. It's been like 
an hour or two or just one a week and make sure there wasn't any extra sun heating in the space. Um, but ultimately I decided this is where it's going to live and so I'm going to go ahead and start filling it. Now I have a box of shredded paper. I have some compost from my hot farm that I recently harvested and then I have this coconut core that is very wet um, that I let kind of evaporate slash set out overnight just because I use uh, city water from the hose on it and we have fluoride and all sorts of stuff in our water so I wanted some of that to kind of evaporate off. Got my trusty Wally here to help me out today. He's checking it out. And uh, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to put this tray underneath the bottom. Not that it'll catch the water, but it'll just help catch some of the big stuff for now. And then I'll put this plastic tote underneath there for the time being and see if anything comes out. Uh, so I think we're going to put the coconut in first and then we'll probably mix some of that in with some paper while we're going. Right, Wally? really need to get a GoPro so you guys can just be attached to the front of me while we're doing this. But decided I'm going to take some of this shredded cardboard and throw it in here because I still have the packaging paper that it came with. Now I just messed it up. So, put some paper in. Cardboard, specifically cardboard in. And then get some of our coconut in here. This is pretty heavy right now. I don't think I could pick it up. Not in my post uh, cold breathing situation here. So I'm going to fill a little bit and I'll show you guys. Put Wally outside and I went and grabbed the paper that we use for our hot frogs. I figured we'll put some paper in because this is mostly paper bags and then we'll put some cardboard. Uh, but there is some actual like short of shredded paper in here too. So figuring we're going to layer some of this in to help you know give diversity and help absorb some of the moisture out of here that is some beating wally here i was able to empty out most of the coconut corn here and as i was layering uh things in i did put in a handful of my castings and specifically these castings have been sitting for i don't know a little bit so what i'm doing is trying to find spots that already have worms that were clearly missed when we were harvesting so that way we can get and save the worms and keep the population growing um but also we can get some of the you know the good biome uh from this started in there so i'm just kind of using my hand a little bit and sifting around i guess i should use the shovel not to get it all on my fingers uh just seeing if there's any wiggles and if I see any wiggle then I will try and grab them oops did I miss it I missed it and then put them in here just to get it started but this is another way uh, to help make sure your bin is off to a good start I think is getting some compost in there just to help get the biome going so I'm gonna put a little bit of paper on top but honestly, I'm not putting that much more paper or cardboard, whatever, in there because I anticipate when I go ahead and I feed them, they are going to get a lot of cardboard on top. Wow, I did not think I missed this many, but apparently I did. So, what was that? Seven or eight worms I missed? Which in the grand scheme, if you've got, you know, a thousand or whatever, it's probably not that many, but we want to save all the worms. So I feel pretty good about where this is starting. So now it says we just wait uh, 48 hours. So I'm gonna set a timer and that's gonna put us pretty close to when we normally feed them uh, weekly. So I'm expecting when I go to my hot frog and pull some worms out that the tear really any tier that I pull from should have most of its food, if not all of it, devoured. And so they'll be eager to find places with food. So I'm gonna zip this up for now, and then we'll check back it in 
for you guys in a few seconds. I mean, in a few days. And uh, get the worms into their new home. All right, friends. It's been a second for you, but it's been two days here in real life. I'm back on the porch. We're going to check on the moisture levels of the bin. But don't worry. The puppies are here still. We got Wally over here. He's, he likes to sunbathe, so he's probably going to hang out. And then we got Moose sitting in the shade like a good boy. Mostly eating my almond bush because that's his favorite plant to eat. But we're going to check on the moisture levels because according to the instructions, it says that today we could theoretically add the worms. So before we do that, we want to just check and see how the bedding is going in here. And then I want to reattach the bottom piece, uh, the cover, and then I had just put a plastic bin in, uh, tray down there just for any moisture. All right. So I did just uh, throw my compost thermometer in here. So we're below, it's like 90. So I think that's still within the safe zone. All right. There's definitely moisture in here, so I feel good about that. Kind of wish there wasn't flies on my porch, but um, I think it's okay. It's not super wet. Let me see. It's definitely damp. Definitely damp. Hmm. Oh, well, I guess if I'm squeezing it and there's water coming out, I guess that's okay. All right, well then, time to add some worms. First, I'm gonna add the cover back on. Just, just so we don't have to worry about trying to do that later. There was a little bit of moisture that came out, uh, obviously, because it's the first time getting set up, but it really wasn't that much. So I think the, bed, the bin is in a good spot. I like these tabs that they put on here. They're helpful. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up. Okay, so I went back and looked at my notes. In tier three, this top tier is the oldest active tier that we have. Started around mid February, and we hadn't harvested because we were trying to see if we could get a, a fuller layer in here. But I know that there are a lot of worms in here. I know there's also a fair amount of castings in here. And I thought about it and I was like, okay, well, there's a lot of great castings in here. Do I want to try to like pull some of the worms out of here so I can use the castings right away? But because I had recently added a lot of bedding in here, I decided, you know what, I'm content with just taking about half of this tier and bringing it to the urban worm bag. Um, so at least I'm going to start with a half of the tier we'll start with. I have a metal bowl here that I'll make for some easy transport. And then we're going to use, um, we're going to see how much uh, that leaves bedding wise in here and we'll probably have to top this layer off with some more um, paper, but I think we're gonna be okay and uh, Good news Wally's here to help. What you doing Wally? <laughs> All right, let's just uh, let's get going here So I'm just gonna kind of draw a little bit of a line that normally they would have been fed again tomorrow so this area here is where the food was last week uh, so if there's any food currently then they should be over here although actually since we know that the food's over here maybe that's even better for us to try and just take our little worms out of let's see I'll bring you guys over so you can see all we look okay well, there's definitely still food they're working on. So maybe we'll just take like 
this section of worms with us. And we'll just take the food with us. You're not technically supposed to feed them right away, but I mean. Yeah, we got a lot of big babies in here. Okay. I don't think this is a thousand worms though. So maybe we'll just keep going. I'm to be gentle as I scoop here. But I mean, I know that there's worms elsewhere in the bin. Not as many, obviously, because there's a lot of food on this side of the bin or this tier. So I'm like, well, maybe. Okay. Change of plans. If this has been going since February, it's nearly August, beginning of August ish now. So that's been more than enough time for this tier to be working. I think I might just take the majority of the worms out of this tier. At least the ones that are congregating near the food, like this massive worm ball here. Boop. And obviously we'll take some of the food with us. But then we'll just leave who's ever left, that's not part of these worm balls here, and we'll let them uh, just carry on breaking down this tier. Oh wow, there's a lot over here. Okay, that's this is a good plan. This is a good plan, you guys. <laughs> uh, pretty sure this is a good plan. We'll let them finish working on this tier here, and then, because this is gonna be due for a harvest anyways, so maybe we'll start starving tier three. There's a lot of bedding in here. Uh, so maybe we'll do like one or two more small feedings up here. I think that makes sense. So I'm not gonna add more bedding to this. I'm just gonna put this scooper over here and I'll just show you guys the, this is a bit, you know, mixing bowl. So there's obviously bedding and food and paper towels and stuff, but there's a decent number of worms in here. So I wanna bring them outside really need to get like a GoPro or something so we can do this uh, without me having to hold the camera. But for now, I'm just going to take this bowl that we put them in with, it does have some food in it, but look at all the worms down there, guys. Okay, I'll check the bowl and make sure there's no stragglers, but you're not really supposed to bury them. So I just dumped it so most of the food part was on the bottom but they're gonna start going around their merry way in here but there's I don't know how many I don't know how you people tell how many worms there are I'm sure there's probably not a thousand in here but there's a decent number to get started and I don't mind waiting a little bit for them to um, repopulate I know you're not supposed to bury them but I don't want that food up top so we're gonna let them do their jam here and uh I'm not gonna add any bedding or anything. And then the instructions say to wait a couple days before feeding them. So I'll do that and uh, we'll check in for the first feeding soon. Thanks so much for watching the Urban Worm Bag version two set up with me. I'll be continuing to post how feeding is going and uh, let me know how many worms you think we just put in there. Cause I don't know how to tell. <laughs>